Hi and welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. Today we have a video from one of our application engineers, Cheryl Stedden, who works in our Aberdeen office, about the factory design suite workflow. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to the Symmetry YouTube channel. My name is Cheryl Sneddon, I'm an application engineer and I'm here to discuss the benefits of Factory Design Suite. So Factory Design Suite is a 2D, 3D layout solution purposely built to help create digital prototypes of your factory. It can also be used for various different industries. So we're going to go through a workflow in the video. We're going to go through process modelling, plan and layout, detailed design and design review. Process modelling can be used as the first stage of the factory design suite workflow. Process Analysis 360 is a web-based tool that allows engineers and designers to study and optimise the manufacturing process. Any manufacturing process can be created using the Process Analysis 360 tool. As shown on screen, each stage of the process can be placed in fact, the design suite assets can be used to animate each stage. Connectors can be used to connect up each stage of the process. A target quantity can be created as shown. The process can be animated using the tools at the bottom of the screen. And a report can be generated that can be optimised later in the process. This process can be exported to DWG. It can be saved to any local area, which can then be imported as an X reference to any existing AutoCAD layout. Once the process has been placed on screen as shown, AutoCAD can be synced with Inventor. As the application opens, you can see the assets are starting to be built. And the assets used from the factory design suite will be shown on screen. Now you can see a representation of the process that was created using the Process Analysis 360 tool, and the layout is complete. Factory Design Suite comes with built-in default assets, but assets can be built from existing models with existing iLogic capability. Each model must be taken through the Asset Builder. The Asset Builder process is as shown. The land and surface must be created the connectors must be defined, asset properties can be added, and each model must be created in a connector class. Also, each model can have a variation, and a descriptor can be added to identify any other additional information. The model can then be published and placed in an assets folder and once this is complete, it can be utilised in a 2D layout, which will be the next stage of the factory design suite workflow. Once we created our custom assets, we can team them up with default assets and move on to the next stage of the factory design suite workflow. So the next stage would be planning the layout 
and claiming space for each of the assets that we've created. So as you can see on screen, we're utilising the two different variations that we created in our asset builder inside Inventor. And we're using the modified tools to move them into position to claim the space on our 2D layout. We also have the ability to use chain assets, and these chain assets, as shown, will allow you to produce handrails over longer areas of the side of your layout. So once we've got that, we can save it out. We can go back to Inventor, and when we open up the deck, we can use the Sync AutoCAD update. And once it's updated, you can see on screen that it's sprung through the 3D assets. This is one of the greatest benefits of using the factory design suite workflow. This process would take longer if we had created each model from scratch. Once the assets are inside the 3D model, we've also got the ability to change the factory properties. So each asset has various different properties that have been added and parameterized at any stage in the creation of the asset. So as we change the height and the length, they update as on screen fairly quickly and save the user a lot of time. What we've also got the ability to use is the iLogic capability that was placed in the model when the model was built. In this instance, it's clashing, so we can use the reposition tools to move the asset out away from the side of the ship and reposition it to its true position. So the next stage of the factory design suite workflow could be to add more detail to the deck. So as you can see on screen, we're inserting existing models, and we can also insert assets from the existing factory design suite libraries. So once these models are in position, we always have the option to go back and reposition them whenever we need to. So as the crane has existing iLogic rules, we can use the iLogic rules to move the crane to a different position. But what we can also do is we can use the reposition tools and we can angle the crane to a different position. When it's in that different position, we're going to use other assets and we're going to build a ladder to give us access to the crane. So we can move forward with these assets and we can start to utilize other assemblies within our layout. So what you can see on screen just now is we're adding assets to build up each room on the deck. This will be a replication of each area along the deck layout. Each asset can quickly be selected and repositioned to create the room layout. As you can see, the green dots allow each of the assets to be connected and positioned very quickly. This can save a designer a lot of time in the build-up of any layout. As you can see on screen, each asset is placed in very quickly and repositioned, and we don't have to think about normal assembly constraints in this process.
Once all the assets are in place, it's saved out. And you can see it's replicated at each stage of the layout. Another strong benefit of using the factory design suite workflow is being able to bring in 3D assets and position them on top of our 2D layout. So as you can see on screen, we're inserting a 3D asset and using the 2D layout to position it in the correct position. We can also use the inspect tools and we can measure the distance and duplicate this distance to the properties of our 3D asset. Once this is done, we can save out the layout. And we're going to sync it with AutoCAD. When the AutoCAD drawings open, you can see all the 3D assets that we placed on the deck have all been replicated and the space has been claimed. This next stage of the factory design suite workflow allows us to use Navisworks as a design review tool. As we use Navisworks, we can walk around our model and we can take snapshots in each section of our model so that we can visually see if there's any changes that need to be made in our design. If any changes have to be made, we can use the design review tools and mark out on screen any missing areas of our design. We can add text and we can recreate this as a snapshot. We can go back into Inventor and we can recreate the missing stairs using our factory library assets. Once the stairs have been created, we can save out the layout. And we can go back to Navisworks. And the Navisworks layout will update as shown. So thank you very much for tuning in to our Symmetry YouTube channel. I hope you can see the benefits of using the factory design suite, being able to work through the, the process model all the way through the plan and layout, detailed design and design review, being able to review and resolve any issues within your design. Factory design suite is a lot quicker than using the traditional inventor tools. So I'm really hoping that you guys can see the benefit of using the factory design suite and again, thank you very much for tuning in to the Symmetry YouTube channel. Bye.